Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to compare these two radio frequency meters together to see how they read around a wireless router. And this one here is the Cornet ED75. And this one here is a Tenmars TM196. And this is the professional grade meter and has a three axis sensor. And we have this tape measure setter so we can see distances to this wireless router which is going to provide us with the radio frequency signal. And this is a pretty standard router that you'll find in most homes. So we're going to start with the 10 Mars. So let's turn it on. And we're going to do all our readings in volts per meter. So let's start off by going right up in between the antenna system and we get nine and a half volts per meter approximately. So let's bring it back to a foot away from the router and we see we're getting 4.4 .4 volts per meter and at two feet we're getting almost 1.5 volts per meter. And at three feet, we're getting about a thousand millivolts per meter. So that's the 10 Mars. Let's see how this one performs. Now, I'm going to hold this one vertically. So that seems to be where the, the signal actually peaks. Uh, we need to change the scale to volts per meter. I'm going to hold it in between the antennas and we're actually getting hmm, about 3 volts per meter. So I'm going to take it out to a foot. And you see at a foot we're getting 1.1 volts per meter. I'm going to take it to 2 feet. You see at 2 feet we're actually getting 1 volt per meter. And at three feet, we're getting 0.55 volts per meter. So our readings are quite different. And that's what I've seen people report who use these meters, is that the, there's quite a difference between what these meters read and the people who manufacture them. And even within the same manufacturer, you may get quite a variance between two similar meters. So that's my take on RF meters. You need to be quite careful which ones you're buying. And these cheaper ones are great for doing small and professional work that is not going to go to court. But if you're going to court over stuff, you want to be in the range of the professional meter and if you ever go to court, you, sh you should definitely calibrate your meter at an RF calibration service before doing any readings. So that was RF meters around wireless routers. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.